Welcome back. Today we're doing a journal with me video. This time I am going to do some pre-decorating using stickers and washi tapes in my Nanami Cafe Note A6. And then I'm going to do some actual journaling on one of those pages that we're decorating using some fountain pens. The cover I have on this notebook right now is a Chic Sparrow A6 folio in the leather Yaffe from the Callahan collection. This is a retired leather and it's one of my favorites. I do switch the cover around on this notebook a lot. It's one that I carry around the house with me and just kind of brain dump in whatever I feel like writing, venting, writing about something exciting that happened that day. I do like the smaller size for this particular usage and so I, I also like to decorate the pages. I've talked about this in a previous video, but I try to sit down and schedule time to just make the pages look pretty and then when I am in the mood to write, I just have to open it up and start writing and the pages are pretty much ready to go. So when I actually do sit down to decorate it, it usually means I'm about to run out of decorated pages and that's what has happened here. So this is going to be the page that I'm going to actually journal on later. It was the end, the tail end of my last batch of pre-decorated pages, but I'm just going to go ahead and flip to a clean page get a little clip on there so that it holds itself open and then we can start decorating. For my kind of everyday carry brain dump notebook, I like having grid pages, especially really tiny grids. I like writing really small. And so this Nanami Cafe Note A6 has grid lines on the pages. I do prefer a dot grid, but I really like these notebooks so I can deal with a regular grid. I prefer it to lines for whatever reason. and. Yeah, do you like writing on lined pages, blank pages, grid, dot grid? What's your favorite? For these pages, I decided that I wanted to make use of these really beautiful illustrated washi designs from Bomb Kuhen. I have a whole bunch of them. They, they do kind of original design washi tapes and they're so pretty. And I don't know about you, but I do have a tendency to buy washi and then not use it super often. So this exercise, definitely helps me use those up and I enjoy them more that way than I do just having the rolls sit in a box somewhere. Placing the washi is a given, but then I get to kind of look through my stash of stickers, a wide assortment of different kinds of stickers from all sorts of different places, and kind of arrange them in a color scheme and a different layout that makes sense. I get a lot of questions about where I get my stickers and especially those clear floral stickers and those are from a lot of different shops on AliExpress. I really like the clear floral stickers. I use them on almost every page, pretty much every page in this notebook for sure. The quality kind of varies and it can be really hard to tell from photos on there what you're actually going to get. So sometimes I think I'm getting clear floral stickers and I actually get these like washi paper ones that you can see. Those yellow ones right there are, I'm not as a big of a fan of those, but I do still use them. And you do get what you pay for. <laughs> they are pretty inexpensive on that website and they take a really long time to ship to the US, but in the end I get what feels like a surprise package because I had no idea when it was going to arrive and some of it turns out to be really great and some of it I don't use as often, but it is what it is and it's kind of fun. So, you know, I do buy from as many local US shops as I can and I just kind of also buy from AliExpress sometimes. <laughs> I, I go with a variety just to see what I like. I also wanted to point out that particular washi tape design right there. It's the satellite design from Bomb Kuhen. Oh, so pretty. They put that on a package that I ordered like other things with and I immediately had to look up, what tape is this? It's so beautiful. I don't know, a lot of their washi tapes look like beautiful paintings and it just makes me so happy. <laughs> You can see here that there were two stickers, the chocolate cake and that random plant that I was going to use on the page before and didn't end up using and so I just carried it over to this page and thought, all right, we can try and make that work this time. 
it is just kind of a fun creative process. I don't know when I go into these pages what it's going to look like in the end. It just kind of comes together and sometimes I like it more than other times. Sometimes I can fix it if I'm not super happy with where it's ending up and sometimes I just leave it because we're not going to worry about that kind of stuff. We are not stressing. We are just having a good time and relaxing and working on something creative with our hands and it just feels good and makes me happy. It calms me down when I'm stressed out and I enjoy doing this very much. It is also really fun that I get to share it with you now. I am so glad that the bunch of you who found me on this channel are enjoying the videos too and leaving lots of interesting and fun comments. It's just, I don't know, it's fun to connect with people from all over the world on something that we all enjoy. The washi that I used on the left side of this page is also one of my favorites. It's from Bomb Kuhan again, and this one's called Studio Vibes, and it really does look like a painting, but there's like a sewing machine and a little desk and some supplies, and it's just so pretty. It makes me really happy. It might be my favorite, but I also really like that satellite one, and I also like the, the Morse code one, which is the blue one over on the left side of the screen. I just, I don't know, they make the best washi tapes and I hope that they continue to offer those and continue to design new ones because I'm using them a lot now. I actually like getting me to use an entire roll of washi to the point where I need to order another one is a big deal for me. For the longest time I was afraid to use them up, afraid to run out of them, afraid that I might put them in the wrong place and it really is not as much fun that way. <laughs> I like that I've started to just enjoy them for what they are and actually sit down and use them. And I like getting to write in this notebook too. I know that I've mostly been showing you decorating on this video so far, but we are going to write on the pages, I promise. I'm going to go over to some background music now so you can just kind of watch. And if you're journaling along with me, let me know how that goes in the comments below. And I will see you when we get to the end of the decorated pages and move on to some writing with fountain pens.
All right, I feel pretty good about that amount of pages. Let's flip back through and see which ones are our favorites. I really liked this one with the little sad cloud and the kidda tapes. Those are like washi tapes, but they're pre-cut and they're really cute. I also really liked that noodles sticker. <laughs> this one turned out really cool. I like the colors on this one. And yeah, that ended up with a lot of stickers on it. it sometimes they get a little bit out of hand, <laughs> but that's okay. It's part of the process. And then I want to point out one more favorite, that little stapler on the left side. <laughs> I feel like I should get more stickers that have journaling supplies and office supplies in them. I don't have as many of those as I do of like the florals and things like that. So that'll be something for me to keep an eye out for. And now we can do some writing. I'm just going to write down my thoughts <laughs> at the time of filming this video and get to use some of my favorite fountain pens and inks. I pretty much exclusively use fountain pens in this particular notebook, though this doesn't have the original Tomoe River paper in it, which would be my preference if it were still available. This is the Twisby Eco Smoke Rose Gold Edition in a broad nib, and it has Diamine Polar Glow ink in it. And then this is the Banu Talisman in Peacock Ore, and that has the Robert Oster Chocolate Pudding ink in it. And they're two of my favorites. I enjoy writing with them. They're both really smooth, consistent writers. And the Banu has a medium nib, which is usually my preference. But I do like having a broad nib for headings and things like that. And so that's mostly what I use this Twisby for. It's also very pretty. I write the date up at the top of the page every time. I really love this brown ink, the Robert Oster chocolate pudding. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's just so pretty, and I haven't found another brown ink that looks quite like this. It's almost purplish. I don't know, it's really hard to describe. It's a limited edition, so I had a hard time finding a bottle of it, and I'm gonna be sad when it's all gone, but I wanna use it up because I enjoy it, you know? So <laughs> on this day, I was having a fun day because I was about to go on a road trip over the weekend, and I got to do one of my favorite activities, which was stop in a store and get road snacks. I used to tour professionally around the US and Canada, as a musician and one of my favorite things was stopping at all kinds of different rest stops and convenience stores and trying out different snacks because they would change depending on where you were in the country and also it was a long drive <laughs> driving all around the US multiple times over the course of quite a few years actually and even though I wasn't going quite so far away and I was shopping for snacks like in my hometown before we left it still felt similar it had a similar feeling to it and that was something that I didn't realize I had missed when I stopped touring it's also interesting I did film this a couple of months ago and just am now having a chance to edit it and post it but I at the time was alternating between print and script because I like that different inks appear to have different types of shading depending on the way that you're writing and more recently I have been just writing in cursive because I've been getting a lot of practice and I actually really like it. Um, I didn't write in cursive in school, we learned how to do it, but I either could print my essays or actually type them out and print them out from a computer and so it has kind of an interesting exercise that I kind of forced myself the last few years of journaling to not just use cursive as a decorative way of writing a title or a heading or something like that, but actually writing paragraphs in cursive, and I've really been enjoying it. I know that's super nerdy, but <laughs> I am now at the point where my journals are pretty much just cursive, which is kind of cool. I don't know if I had expected that that would happen. I just kind of it was a skill that I wanted to practice and get better at, and now here I am choosing to do that instead of the way that I have written my entire life. I also just noticed that I accidentally crossed an L thinking that it was a T. <laughs> People all the time ask me, but what do you do when you make mistakes? I either completely ignore them or I just cross them out. It's not a big deal. I don't really care that much. It's just an enjoyable process for me, and if I mess up, I mess up. That's just the way it is. <laughs> 
And I am feeling really good about what we finished today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you are not subscribed and you'd like to see more, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. You can also click the notification bell to make sure that you receive them. I post my videos at least once a week, sometimes twice on Wednesdays and Sundays. And I would love if you would leave me a comment below. One of my favorite parts about this channel is getting to chat with you after I post a new video. It's really fun. If you also are on Instagram, you can find me there at laurenfairwx, and I do post photos of my journals and fountain pens and my face sometimes. <laughs> if you want to go follow me over there, that would make me really happy. We can stay in touch, and yeah, I hope that you're having a really good day, and I'll see you next time.